Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we have completed the story of Prophet Idris alayhi salam. Insha'Allah, today we'll be beginning the story of Prophet Nuh alayhi salam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Adam alayhi salam passed away after teaching his children to worship Allah and not make any partners with him. He told them his story with Iblis and told them that he was his enemy. Days and years quickly passed, then all the children of Adam alayhi salam forgot what their father told them, except for a few of them. There was in all ages a man whom the people loved because he guided them to Allah. When the pious man died, they would make a statue of him so that they could remember him. Wad, Su'a, Yahuth, Ya'uq, and Nasra were five of these pious men. When they died, the people made their statues. Many years passed. Since Adam السلام, passed away, ten centuries or a thousand years had passed. The people forgot Adam السلام's advice and obeyed Iblis. They did not believe in Allah and did not worship him. Iblis had found a chance to misguide the children of the man he hated, Adam السلام. The statues of the five men were now buried under the sand. What was Iblis going to do? He came in the form of a human and said to the people, Whom do you worship? We do not worship anyone, they replied. He said, Shall I show you the gods which your forefathers used to worship? Yes, they said. He then showed them the place of the five statues and said to them, These are the gods of your forefathers, Wad, Su'a, Yahud, Ya'uq, and Nasra. The people believed what he said and worshipped these idols. They forgot that they could not hear or speak. They were just stones that they had made with their own hands. There was only one man who was sad at this. He did not forget that Shaytan was his enemy, and the enemy of all of Adam salam's children. This man was Nuh. He believed in Allah. He went to go look at the idols which his people were worshipping instead of Allah. He saw that there were stones which could not speak. He thought about the amazing universe and realized that there must be a great God who created it. He remembered the advice of his father and grandfather. Do not worship anyone besides Allah. He also remembered, Iblis is your enemy. There was no believer at that time on the face of the earth besides Nuh alayhi salam. Nuh alayhi salam was in his house thinking about the greatness of Allah. Suddenly he fell asleep. When he got up he was very happy. He was feeling a light as if the sun was shining from his own face. He had revealed to him that he was Allah's Rasul to his people. He was to call them to the one Allah to worship him alone and stop worshipping idols which could neither benefit nor harm. Nuh السلام, was happy, but he also knew how difficult this was going to be. His people, his people were disbelievers and they had hard hearts. However, he knew that Allah would help him. Allah would not let those who worshipped him be destroyed. The difficult work then began. Nuh السلام, went to every place where his people gathered and said to them, I am a clear warner unto you. Do not worship anything besides Allah. I fear the punishment of a painful day for you. His people replied, We see you as only a man just like us. How can Allah send a human to us? If Allah were to send a messenger, he would send an angel. We think you are a liar. Nuh السلام, did not lose hope. He continued to call his people day and night. Some of the poor and weak ones obeyed him because they found that Allah does not make a difference between rich and poor. The disbeliever said, We see that only the weak ones follow you. We think that you are definitely a liar. Nuh السلام, replied, I am not a liar. I am a Rasul from the Rabb of all of the worlds. The people said, No, you are mad. You want to be better than us. If you do not stop, we shall stone you. Nuh السلام, replied, I am neither an angel nor mad. I am not stupid, nor do I misguide. I want to save you from Allah's punishment. Nuh, Nuh alayhi salam's people forgot that a message from Allah is an honor for all the people, that Allah does not make a difference between rich and poor, strong and weak. All people must follow the truth. Nuh alayhi salam wanted to make his people realize that there is always goodness in worshiping Allah. Allah is the one who sends down rain from the sky and provides for them. He said to them, Seek forgiveness from your Rabb. 
He is indeed most forgiving. He will send bountiful rain to you from the sky and help you with wealth and children and make for you rivers. However, when Nuh السلام, used to come to them to call them to Allah, they put their fingers in their ears so that they could not hear him. They put their clothes over their eyes so that they could not see him. Nuh السلام, did not give up hope. He still called them to Allah. He said to them, Do you not see how Allah has created the seven heavens in layers? And he created the moon a light in them and the sun a lamp. Allah grew plants for you from the earth. He returns you into it and will certainly take you out again. Allah has spread out the earth for you so that you may travel through its mountainways. They said to him, Never leave your gods. Never leave Wad, Su'a, Yahuth, Ya'uq, and Nasra. When one of them felt he was going to die, he would tell his son, Beware of this man, or else he will misguide you. A man would come wobbling on his stick and say, O oh son, beware of this man. The son would ask for the stick and beat Nuh alayhi salam until blood flowed from his head. He would say, O oh my Rabb, see what your slaves do to me. O oh my Rabb, guide them and give me patience until you make your decision. Indeed, you are the best of deciders. Inshallah, we'll continue in the next session with the story of Prophet Nuh alayhi salam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.